Welcome back to ComboCasting.com. If you're planning to make or sell video to your offline clients, then you'll be doing yourself and your clients a really big favor by properly branding your video. Now, of course, branding helps in your client's brand identity, but it also adds a level of professionalism to you and as a result, your repeat business. Of course, everything's up to you in the end and if you wanna pursue making videos for offline clients, branding is really important. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I go about branding a real small business using their current online assets. It's really quick and easy, and not only that, after I'm done, it's gonna allow me to create a template to work with for all future videos, which really expedites the production process. And that really helps in getting over the hump of you know, starting a project, finishing it, or doing multiple videos for one small business. It's really much easier than you think. So I use a Mac here with Keynote and ScreenFlow, but this easily translates to a PC with PowerPoint and Camtasia as well. Pretty much the same thing. So the first thing I want to do is look at their website. I am looking for a color scheme, logo, fonts, anything else that helps identify their brand. The same of which I will be using to create my video background and thus my video template. Okay, so the first thing I notice is this stylistic font I'm using. These kind of things are going to jump out at you all the time. So you really have to track that down because you don't want to play around with small things like that. Try and nail it as close as you can. So I'm just going to go out to the internet and get it and download it into my font book manager. Okay, let's test it in Keynote. Okay, that's it. So I can use it for titling. Okay, next, Francesca Bakery has a very nice background, I know because I did it, of a nice cream background and then a red pattern sort of bordering that. Now, I can use solid colors in my video background to closely match this, but here is something else you can do if you really don't have those assets and or you want to match it more closely. Try and stretch out the web page. Uh, you can do this on a lot of WordPress sites too, and you'll see all this background sort of appear. Well, just take that blank space there and snap a picture of those backgrounds that you want to use. Now, I'm going to use Skitch to do this, but you can use anything, even your print screen function, and then sort of crop it in Photoshop or GIMP. Okay, so here I have the cream background now in Skitch, and I'll just drag it into my Keynote document. We're going to go really fast here. I just want to stretch it so that it covers the complete 1280 by 720 surface of my Keynote document. Okay, so that's fine. And then I will just uh, use a little strip of this for the red borders. So I'll take this strip like this and do the same. Just drag it into Keynote. For now, I'm just going to leave it at the top, see how it looks. Okay, so I also need their logo, and I do have that on file, but for the purposes of this video, if you're dealing with a new client, maybe you didn't do their website, we'll grab it off their website in the same way we did, you know, the other stuff, and just bring it into the Keynote document. And I like to have a logo up here. This is go actually going to make a terrific header for the videos. Let's just resize it. I'll add a border. Maybe a little shadow using my Keynote tools. Again, you can do all of this in PowerPoint. I just want to make a slightly sort of layered effect here with some of these elements. I don't sort of want it to be completely flat. Just adding some depth to the video. Okay, I'll copy that border and bring in another one to the bottom. That's just sort of defining your top and bottom of the video. I like to do that. You can if you want. Okay, so I actually want this layer behind so I can send it to the back and then add a shadow on the cream background over the red baseline border. So I'll bring that to the front, add a shadow. It's starting to look pretty cool right now. Okay, I also have some cool branding in the lower corner too. So I'll just copy the logo, layer it behind, and I'm just going to shrink and resize my logo here. This is just sort of the graphic artist coming out at me. I'll just angle it, drop it beside, drop it behind some shadow effects. Okay, save file. Okay, since I now have, you know, my general layout here ready to go, 
I'm going to sketch this entire canvas right now. You can also export it as a PDF, but I like using Sketch. And I'll just add this to another page in the Keynote document. Okay, this page will now be my background and I don't have to worry about nudging or accidentally shifting any of the page elements around because it is now all one element, all of those images together. Okay, so you can add text to this document for each video, but since most of my titling is going to take place in ScreenFlow, I'm just going to import that background into a new ScreenFlow document and I can stretch it for however long I need to since it's just a simple ping image. So that image will last the distance of my entire video if I want. And ideally I'm going to save this ScreenFlow document as a template too and just open it up and save it under a different name for each video project. So there it is. Really it's just a few minutes work and you've got a professional looking background. In my experience, once your client sees a branded background, they are immediately impressed and more confident in your abilities. So here's how a video project might look with one of these branded backgrounds. Okay, thanks for dropping by. Hope that helps you in finding a new offline client for your video business. Take care. See you soon. Ciao.